Hey guys, what's up? Jed here. Welcome to another video. I hope you're all having a great day. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how to solve a linear equation that has brackets. So we have the following example, two brackets, x plus three is equal to 15. How would we approach this and how would we solve this? I have to just add that you should be able to solve linear equations in two steps in order to be able to attempt such a question. So first things first. The go-to method or the best way of doing this, in my opinion, is to expand the brackets. So that's the first thing you want to do. And what that means is you just want to multiply the number on the outside by the terms on the inside. So the first one will give us 2 multiplied by x, which is 2x. Positive 2 multiplied by positive 3, which gives us positive 6. And this is equal to 15. And that's the first step you want to do. That's the, the best way of approaching this. Because now it just becomes a two-step equation. And how you solve a two-step equation, which is what we've done in the previous video, is in the following way. I want to isolate the x. So I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides first. You want to eliminate this 6. You want to get rid of it so you can isolate the x. And this is going to give us 2x plus 6 minus 6, the 6 cancels out with the minus 6, giving us just 2x. And on the right hand side, it gets modified 15 minus 6 to give us 9. We're one step closer to getting x on its own. So now, how is this 2 attached to the x? It's attached through multiplication. So we're going to do the opposite operation, which is division with the same number 2. And we do that to both sides. So now that gives us 2 divided by 2, which is 1, and that just leaves us with 1x. And the best way to write that is just x. And on the right-hand side, it gives us 4.5. 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. Now, you don't have to write it as a decimal. You can write it as 4.5, or you can actually just leave it as 9 over 2. Or you can leave it as a mixed number if you're feeling fancy, which is 4.5. Now, in exams or any question you're given in general, if they don't ask you to leave it in a certain way, so like a decimal or a fraction or a mixed number, which is also known as a fraction in its simplest form, you can leave it however you want. You should get marks for all of these answers unless the question has specified how it wants your answer. So just bear that in mind. So, okay, so this is a simple example of how to solve a linear equation with a single bracket. So, so now I'd like us to look at how we can solve a slightly more complicated question with linear equations and brackets. Okay, so here we have a slightly more complicated question. However, it's the same idea and the same technique that we're going to use to solve it. So, first step is to expand the bracket. So we're going to distribute the 3 into all of the terms on the inside. So that's going to be 3 multiplied by x, which gives us 3x, and positive 3 multiplied by positive 4, which gives us positive 12. Now, this next step is very important. You need to listen to how to approach this next step, especially if you have a minus here. Most people will just try and multiply the 2 and expand the bracket. The best way to approach it would be by multiplying the negative 2s. So you can multiply the entire negative 2 into x plus 5. So negative 2 multiplied by positive x gives us negative 2x. Negative 2 multiplied by positive 5 gives us negative 10, because a negative and a positive multiplied together gives us a negative, and this is equal to 12. Okay, our next step now is to simplify the left-hand side. So we want to collect like terms. All right, I'm going to do it with the variables first. So we have 3x. What other term has x in it? It's this minus 2x here. Notice how I include the symbol to the left of it. The symbol to the left of a term belongs to that term. Okay, there are no other terms with x's in it. So now we have 3x minus 2x. This leaves us with 1x or just x. And now we do the same for the numbers. So we have plus 12 and minus 10. And if we just simplify that, plus 12 minus 10, it should leave us with plus 2, positive 2 equals. 12. So we're nearly there. Let's see how to get rid of this plus 2. All we need to do is 
subtract 2 from both sides. And this should give us, so this plus 2 cancels out with a minus 2, leaving us with x. 12 minus 2 gives us 10. And there you have it. There's your answer. x is equal to 10. And this is how you solve linear equations with brackets. Guys, I hope you've learned something from this video. In the next video, we're going to look at how to solve linear equations with variables on both sides. So definitely check that out if that's something you want to learn how to do. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.